So the other thing I wanted to show you is let's just delete off those pieces. Let's change our our map to one that looks like glass. So I'm just going to copy this in and this is just a broken glass texture. So now if we look at this, we get broken glass pieces. And because the broken glass doesn't necessarily have to be the same size uh, like the bullet holes, so we can go into this shape instance and go ahead and tune up the variation. So now we have a lot better looking broken glass. And the other thing I wanted to show you is that this is creating a flat plane with these objects mapped onto it. What you may want to do is actually be able to take this uh, information and map it directly to the material. And one way you could do that is by using a camera map. And I'm going to show you that really quickly also. So I did set up another camera in here. So if I just go to this camera map A, I have it moving through. Now what I could do is I could go ahead and just hide this object and render out this broken glass. And I'm not going to do it now. I, I pre-rendered this, but just to give you an example. So you'd be creating just an image that has only the broken glass and it's got the alpha channel. And what we then can do is we go ahead and we'll shut off the particles. We'll turn back on the wall so we can see it. And I've created uh, through the rendering a map that looks like this. So it's 60 frames of just the glass breaking. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just map that onto here. Now we have the camera map A with the, the object selected. We can go in here and tell it to use the camera uh, to put its mapping coordinates on and it'll ask us to pick the camera and we'll pick the camera map A. Now it's very important we don't move this camera around now because it's actually mapping based on where this camera is positioned at, at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and change into perspective mode and we'll move over to the side here. And if we go into the wall texture, which is this texture right here, we can go ahead and I'm just going to grab that bitmap. And we now have that it's mapping onto this. So I, I most likely probably don't want to use in the diffuse, but I can go in and add this in as a bump map. And if we render out a quick example, we see that it's there and it probably look a little better if it actually is going in a different direction. So I'm making it negative 30 bump. And there you go. So now you have these particles have generated this out and you are the, then using that as a source material to map back into your material so you can use it as a bump or you can use it as a displacement or you can use it as a transparency or however you want it. And now let me show you an example of kind of mixing all these things together and using the bump maps um, uh, to create a whole piece together without really tearing any geometry up to put a bunch of bullet holes and break a lot of glass. So here's the a scene with the camera map used to use actually displacements on this building and, and this is included in the tutorial files. There's the camera map that was used for the glass and here's the camera map that was used for when the particles hit the surface and you can see it mapped onto there uh, just in the displacement so slot. This was a separate pass just for the particles flying out of uh, the debris. And this is the two composited together. And then I went ahead and I added in some other little post effects, like the, the little bit of dust and the smoke and the sparks and things like that. So the last segment, we're going to be talking about how to do